All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global got a pretty interesting data download after the maintenance this morning. So in today's video, we're gonna find out exactly what it was all about. Now as always, before we get into it, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and get right into it. So, as I'm sure you guys saw from the thumbnail, the STR Super Vegeta is in fact going to be the next Dokkan Fest unit on Global. By far, my most highly anticipated new unit for 2022. And he's supposed to be dropping in just under four days from now, according to the Dokkan Wiki. So I'm super excited, and uh, they have a promo video here for him, so let me just pause the music real quick. And... Uh, here we go. Looks like I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? I am Super Vegeta! I'm a little too much for you to handle now. Oh. Yeah, I can't freaking wait, guys. I'm so hyped for this unit. Like, as soon as he came out of JP, I knew um, whenever he dropped on Global, we were going to go in. So, for this banner, I know recently I haven't been really, like, wailing out too much. But uh, for this guy, I'm going back to the whale slash dolphin tiger. You know, like, three to four videos, thousand plus stones. Um, I don't think I would be satisfied with just one copy. I think I gotta go for at least one to two dupes. We'll see how the luck goes because, you know, even a thousand stones doesn't guarantee you one copy. So we'll see what happens, we'll see how our luck goes, but I definitely wanna at least pull three just to get the hidden potential uh, filled out because he is... He's insane. Like, this unit is insane, but more so than that, it's just, like, everything about it, man. The animations, um, the leader skill. Dude, the leader skill it is key. 170% attack for pure Saiyans. I need that. So, anyways, um, that's the promo video. STR Super Vegeta is coming. And let's move on from there. So, after that, we have the uh, translated assets for the STR Vegeta. This is the SSR. And that's the TUR, along with the side unit on his banner, which is this uh, STR, I think, cell. So, SSR and also TUR. And uh, we also have the Token Awakening Medal, of course, for the Vegeta. And we have a new category, which is called uh, Mastered Evolution, led by, obviously, the new STR Super Vegeta. And uh, after that, we have some 39th World Tournament assets, which is starting, I think, tomorrow, I believe, in like 24 hours or so. So this Nappa is uh, the World Tournament Reward unit this time. And we also have some Awakenings for the uh, Tien and also this AGL hit. So two Awakenings, one new unit for the reward, and uh, also some promo banners, which is pretty standard stuff. So there's the promo banner for the Nappa and uh, for the banners. And also another one for the Guaranteed SSR banner. And this is brand new. So at first when I saw it, I was like, did I miss it? Like, did we get this before? And I just forgot. But no, this is a Jackie Chun, brand new Jackie Chun uh, statue. And according to the Dokkan Wiki, when you sell it, it is worth 20,220,000 zenny. So obviously it's an ode to the new year 2022 right so i'm guessing it's just gonna be like a you know new year's uh login bonus kind of thing but maybe it's from an event we'll have to see but uh yeah brand new jackie chun statue worth 20 plus million zenny pretty dope and uh after that we have some translations for the extreme z awakening medals for int super saiyan goku and also the uh, STR Android 18, which 
I'm obviously very excited for as well. So yeah, two free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenings on the way. And uh, let's see, oh, some uh, assets for a new support memory, Transcend the Super Saiyan. So there you have that. And also some new tickets. So this is for the Fighting Legend Vegeta event, which is in fact dropping with the STR Super Vegeta uh, celebration. So uh, yeah, guys, we don't have to run the Legendary Goku event and the GT Legendary Goku event over and over again. We now have a new option, which is the Legendary Vegeta event. Can't wait, guys. Yo, this celebration is going to be awesome. This, this, this campaign, this New Year's campaign is going to be amazing. We got the Legendary Vegeta event, we got a bunch of Awakenings, World Tournament, which, you know, I'm not like the biggest fan of, but it's content. And uh, also STR Super Vegeta, the New Year's, uh, you know, Jackie Chun uh, statue, and... I mean, it's just looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good so far. Now, we also have something else. Let me just quickly see. Um, I believe we have a Dokkan Festival ticket. So yeah, a Dokkan Festival ticket, obviously for the Vegeta banner. So uh, these will be available for purchase, I'm sure, in the Baba Shop. Or sorry, not the Baba Shop, the uh, Stone Shop, right? And uh, typically speaking, the deals for these tickets are pretty good. So I probably will be picking up every single pack because like I said, I need this Vegeta, man. I really, really need this Vegeta. And uh, we also have some HD versions of these tickets, which I'll be using for the thumbnail. So thank you to Proton for saving me some time there. And that is pretty much it, guys. That was the data download. Now, of course, before we go, I just want to quickly go over the details for the Vegeta and the Cell that are coming for this upcoming banner. So... Uh, if you guys already know what they do, then feel free to leave the video. If not though, then keep watching. So, we have the Vegeta first. His leader skill is Mastered Evolution or Pure Saiyans. Category key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. And Mastered Evolution is a fine category, but this is what I really care about, man. The Pure Saiyans part of this leader skill, uh, I think is the main reason a lot of people are summoning for this Vegeta, because for the longest time, we never had a 170% to attack uh, Pure Saiyan's lead, right? And then super attack, immense damage, and performs a critical hit for one turn. So this guy basically gets guaranteed crits, guys. It's not a high chance, it's not a great chance. He just crits on every single super attack, which is insane. And his passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% within the same turn after receiving an attack stuns enemies attacked by the character's super attack. So not only does he get guaranteed crits, he also gets guaranteed stun on top of a just stupid attack and defense buff. So uh, yeah, that's part of the reason why he's so he's so busted, right? And his active skill is I am Super Vegeta, key plus 5, attack plus 50% for one turn, and it can be activated when HP is 50% or more, starting from the 5th turn from start of battle, or after the character receives an attack one or more times when there is an enemy whose name includes Cell, uh, characters such as Cell Jr. excluded once only. Links are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, Super Saiyan, or sorry, Saiyan Pride, Golden Warrior, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Pure Saiyans, Full Power of Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Worthy Rivals, Android Slash Cell Saga, Rapid Growth, Gifted Warriors, Heavenly Events, and Mastered Evolution. And we have some calculations here for his passive, which uh, is calculated separately. So his additional attack and defense boost of 50% are calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 275% when performing a super attack, an attack and defense plus 400% after receiving an attack. His active skill is also calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 462.5% when performing a super attack, an attack plus 650% after receiving an attack. So obviously his offensive numbers, his offensive potential with the guaranteed crits is off the charts, but his defense is also gonna be really, really good and overall, he's just a broken unit, man. I mean, he's just absolutely busted. 
So uh, that's the Vegeta. Now let's move on to the Cell real quick. Um, STR second form Cell, leader skills Android slash Cell Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 180% when performing a super attack, chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%, and reduces damage received by 18% when there is an android slash cell saga. Category enemy. High chance of stunning all enemies when there is an enemy whose name includes android, and android slash cell saga category extreme class allies. Hit plus 3. Attack and defense plus 40%. I don't know why this couldn't have just been Android slash Cell Saga allies. E plus 3. Attack and defense plus 40%. I don't know why it has to be extreme. That kind of is annoying, honestly, but it is what it is, I guess. He's still overall a very good unit. It's just, I don't know. I feel like this restriction is unnecessary. Uh, Lynx are a messenger from the future, big bad bosses, attack of the clones, wall standing tall, nightmare, brutal beatdown, and fierce battle. The categories are androids, transformation boost, time travelers, artificial life forms, androids slash cell saga, target Goku, power absorption, sworn enemies, accelerated battle, and worldwide turmoil. And of course, we do have some additional calculations here, so his additional attack and defense plus 180% is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 292%, and Defense plus 516% when performing a super attack. Unfortunately, he gets most of that boost when he's supering, right? So he's not going to be a very good unit to put in the first slot if you have any attacks before he gets to attack. So that's uh, a little bit unfortunate, but otherwise, uh, amazing side unit. Um, I wish he was an all-around support for the category, but uh, I mean... I can't complain too much about the unit overall. So there you have it guys, second form Cell, STR Super Vegeta, that is the data download, a bunch of stuff coming for the uh, New Year celebration, I'm sure there's going to be more stuff in a second part as well, so look forward to some uh, potential Extreme Z Awakenings, maybe the Prime Battle Kid Gohan as well, um, lots of stuff on the way man, 2022 is going to be a good year for Dokkan I'm sure. We got the anniversary coming for JP soon, so definitely going to be covering that. But uh, for now, that's all I got to say. Big shout out. Thank you to Proton10MG as always. Thank you to you guys for watching. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. You join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.